Well, I'm totally excited to be talking about this wine, this 2010 Rombauer Chardonnay from the Carneros. It's a $30 wine, and you know, that's a lot of price for a wine, but this wine totally brings it. <laughs> it has so many great things about it. We're, we're going to get into it. Tell us about the flavor. Man, I'll tell you aromas. right away. I always say it, the nose doesn't lie. Ooh. When you smell this wine, it's fine wine time, friends. There's a reason Rombauer. Oh, yeah, Rombauer, Rombauer, Rombauer. Why is that? Because Rombauer is popular for a reason. And the reason is mm. the wine is a fine wine style that is big, and, and some people will, will sometimes say, hey, this it's too much. No, this 2010 Rombauer is completely imbalances, it pushes the envelope, and then rounds it out and just creates a fine wine. Yes, and the aromas right off the bat are clean and bright mm. and apple and butter and wow. spice, and you just so there love it, is. it. And let's talk about the flavors. Yeah, so the flavors in here, and that's where you get really um, something fine. There, there are the usual mm -hmm. apple and butter elements, and there's a Ooh. nice top line of nutty spice components. But it's the secondary, the finer elements like cinnamon and the citrus that that and you know sometimes you get a wine that's like too buttery and too much fruit, and the citrus in here cuts that back, cuts the nuttiness and everything else, and just re balances the thing perfectly. Yeah, no, I agree. And there's also a fig component to this wine. Yeah, that comes in there and makes it so delicious. But the really thing that I find so interesting, and I find a lot of other winemakers are trying to duplicate, and that is this oak finish. They're trying to get a big, powerful finish. So what they do is they over-oak their wine, but not Rombauer. No. Rombauer's got the oak in there. You Surely it's there, but it's not overdone. It's not burnt. It's not... They, the fruit is coming forward here, and it's all in balance, all coming together. And at the end of the day, this is not a $30 <laughs> no. wine. No way. We pegged the value of this wine at $46. Yeah. And there was an argument that we're being really yeah. conservative Look, here. Yeah, there's and there is a, here's why. Because you blind taste this against top-tier Chardonnays, and this wine is going to come out right at the top of yeah. the top tier. Yeah. So sometimes 46 bucks. That's some of these wines that this would be in a blind with would be 70 bucks, 75 bucks, 80 bucks. I would dare say that it would beat out most 60 to 70 dollar Chardonnays. This year's 2010 Rombauer is a big two thumbs up. It's a big wine, all in balance. Congratulations, Rombauer. Mm. 2010 Chardonnay from the Carneros. Yeah. And that long finish, oh, yeah, on it just goes on and on. What the? What the?